hello hello and welcome to the channel if you like these videos do please like and subscribe because then you'll get a notification when they arrive so we're here today courtesy of the lovely people at Pearl Yachts to have a look at this 72 now Pearl are in their 25th anniversary year and they build these boats or they design them in Warwickshire in England but they are something special they're not your run-of-the-mill starting obviously with this fabulous high-low bathing platform and then access into the tender garage you can see there's room there for a Williams 345 Sport Jet and a Sea-Doo Spark Jet Ski. So let's go and have a look on board. We'll board via the Passerelle. And once we're aboard, first thing we're greeted by is this beautiful cockpit area. Two little tables that are separately designed as coffee tables. They're both high-low, but equally you can then fold those out to the middle to meet to give yourself a vast dining table. And these are Kelly Hotton designed, so if you have a Pearl, it's not a run-of-the-mill boat. They really are very, very special. Side access gate here, and there's another one on the other side. Beautiful, solid, chunky stern gear with a button down there to operate the uh, bulwark and then access if the, if the garage was down, access down to the aft deck. We shall go and head forwards first, I think. Great big side decks, absolutely vast stanchions and a wall of glass with this iconic pearl stripe or slash that runs through the glazing. It's been a signature of their boats for years and I don't know how well you can see it but down here is a, a gate or a door into the helm station one step up takes us forward to this fabulous forward deck lounging space covered by this absolutely vast bimini storage all the way under here as you can see there's lockers here there's this big big table which again is hydraulic so you can fold it out as it is now for dining, or if you wanted to, you can fold it across, walk across and then gain access to the other side. So we shall go and have a quick look inside. We'll go back down the side deck. So we're at a boat show, so somebody's doing some work, just detailing some of the chrome work on the other side. Little wet bar area here. These big doors, two part doors, slide right the way across and then give you access to this open plan saloon. You gotta remember this is only a 72 foot boat. I say only because it's obviously still quite a, a decent size. And again, Kelly Hoppen designed interior. I think there's four different designs you can choose from depending on your styling likes. Absolutely stunning. Lovely seating area, beautiful table, very much a, a, a contrast between the light and the darks. A little light box over there. You can see those big hull windows, sorry, the big superstructure windows and how they would be throwing so much light in here if it wasn't such a hot day. TV over there on the starboard side and beautiful little inserts of these LED lights. Galley slash breakfast bar over here, again, underlit with LEDs and style the whole way through. So there's a sink in there. We'll have a quick look and see what here. Oh, my favorite appliance, a dishwasher. And then down here you've got Miele cooking. And uh, this is quite clever actually. This is a hob and this is the extractor. So the steam comes up and gets drawn down there. Stairs down there to the cabins. Little breakfast bar, bar area there for entertaining. And a lovely forward sofa area to just sit and chill of an evening or, you know, maximize the air conditioning. And then helm station here. There's access door to the side decks that we looked at earlier. And then helm station. Two very, very large Garmin screens and all the usual 
bits and pieces. We're going to speed through this a bit because we are going to show. Now we're going to go aft first down below because you wouldn't believe the amount of cabins they have. I'm going to say squeezed in here, but they're not squeezed because they're palatial. Lovely floating staircase, backlit LED lighting. So you come down in here and the first thing that meets you is this through lobby and this rather fantastic sign. I don't know how well that shows up, but it says less work, more play. And then here is one of the VIPs. Again, pearl design and interior fit out is just stunning. See hull windows, beautifully curving woodwork. Big TV behind that mirror. And then over on the side here, we have the heads with the shower. So we go back into the lobby and across. We have the second VIP. Again, decent sized berth, little dressing table, hull window, tons of headroom, and its own ensuite. So heads vanity unit and lovely shower unit. And behind the door here, as you would expect, there is a hanging wardrobe, double height hanging wardrobe, because the volume in here is incredible, absolutely incredible. So remember, that's two VIPs we've got down here. That's VIP one, we're in VIP two. Come out of this cabin and we go into twin berth cabin, beautifully lit. Again, that Kelly Hoppen design running right the way through. Really lovely. And it just, just incredible headroom. And then down here we have access to the day heads or shared head for this cabin. Heads in there. We open the other door. This is the day head, so this is access for the rest of the people during the day. Still with the shower, still with the heads. And then there's that door through to the twin cabin. We'll shut that up. So that's two VIPs down here and a twin cabin, all effectively en suite. So then if we head forwards past these lovely people here. Voila, no, no. Down this next set of stairs, again into another lobby anti-area with this really nice designed shelving unit. Takes us through the door where we're first greeted by a stack of wardrobe space and then round into the master cabin absolutely incredible cleverly designed to maximize the shape of the boat so there's a little coffee nook area up front superstructure windows throw light in hull windows throw light in Massive bed, so we've come in that side. Loads of storage, as you would expect, under the bed. Just incredible use of LED lighting. And over the side here, we have the master heads. Lovely shower. Hull window. So there you go. 72 foot boat, this 72 foot boat with a master, two VIPs, and a twin bedded cabin. That is incredible. Bill Dixon's done an incredible job of packaging this boat. So we will now lift up onto the flybridge. Where we'll finish the tour, I think, because it's, say, we're at a boat show and it's getting a bit busy. You shall leave the lovely air conditioning. Engine hatch is down there. There is also, while we're out here for the sake of it, an aft docking station, so bow and stern thrusters, engine controllers, so effectively you can bring the boat in stern too, because you can see down the side decks and obviously you've got a lovely view of the back of the boat. So we will finish on the flybridge, which again like the rest of this boat is vast because pretty much the flybridge runs more or less the whole length of the boat. So a lovely little area on the back, obviously this door closes down to close that off once you're up here if you want to freestanding seats at the back, extendable sunshade, 
vast sun cushion there and I suspect there'll be storage all the way underneath that more entertaining space the starboard side full wet bar and upstairs galley here giving you Kenyan grill storage I guess that's probably a sink I don't know I'm not going to try and lift it there's a sink under there and the top loading ice box down there and there'll be fridges and storage and the like there you go underneath there swing around that head forwards cozy seating area facing forwards so when you're underway or you want to be under the full shade of the hard top which we have here at the moment with the blinds on an angle which is really neat so it's giving those blinds are giving us ventilation but not sun and then helm station couple of seats really stylish and pretty much a repeat of the helm station from downstairs and a quick look forward you can see that forward lounging area on the foredeck so there you go thank you very much to the guys at Pearl Yachts really appreciate their time around so this is a boutique premium British brand so thank you for watching, do please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time around.